everyone. Certainly not the temperatures, that's for sure. <laughs> Those are plummeting downward. I just wanted to send my well wishes to you all to um, try to stay warm or as warm as possible and to uh, for your loved ones and your pets, family members, everyone to uh, to just stay as safe as possible and try to stay as warm as possible because um, right now here where we live it's currently 18 degrees with a wind chill of 8 and the temperature is plummeting by morning the actual temperature is supposed to be 8 degrees and the, the wind chill factor factor in the wind chill and it will be zero around zero to below so from here through next weekend it's going to at least feel anywhere from negative 16 to barely making it barely making it to the teens and uh, the actual temperatures will be from single digits to the 20s for a very long stretch here in our area and one model in our area shows that we could receive 8 to 11 inches of snow while the other two models they say show nothing at all but just brutal cold weather whatever falls will stick and will accumulate fast so I just hope for the fact of drivers and people at home and everywhere wherever you're at that we stay as safe as possible there are no power outages and we keep electricity and keep the roads as safe as possible because many places don't have the equipment to deal with a substantial amount of cold and snow or ice things of that nature but at this at these temperatures it will just be purely snow but anyway from Minneapolis all the way to New York City the nation's facing these frigid New Year's Eve and start to 2018 they say that it will be below freezing pretty much from here in most places from here through definitely 2018 and early January it might warm back up by January 6th a little bit but all across the country there is there's just frigid weather pushing in ushering in this new year over five feet of snow falling in New York and Pennsylvania as cold temperatures were headed from basically the Midwest the central United States is uh, here in the central United States it is definitely very cold and we had a mild winter last year we had like we were 76 degrees I know I've said this before but I can't stress this enough we were 76 degrees on Christmas Day in 2016 last year it was an amazingly warm winter a mild winter we had about nine or ten days maybe at the most that I can remember of cold weather and that was just slightly cold so this year is definitely hitting us slapping us in the face really hard <laughs> everyone I believe it's just all around cold frigid frigid cold outside have to bundle up with multiple layers and try to keep the heat on and faucets running and cover the vents and the and the um, faucet and all that kind of stuff the out the outside faucet it's one of those times where you have to break the water outside break the animals water and all this stuff give them lots of hay and give the uh, dogs and cats lots of hay or straw and bundle them up so they can stay warm and we try to stay as warm as possible as well but yeah so a lot of places definitely very cold from here through definitely New Year's Day and uh, for New Year and through probably I would say next Saturday next Friday or Saturday it looks like it looks like around Friday or Saturday a slight warm up into the 30s might occur so we're below freezing from pretty much from Sunday in most places through that through that day so over seven days of very cold weather so temperatures on the East Coast are already the East Coast is already experiencing temperatures an average of 15 to 20 degrees below normal for this time of year it reminds it, it reminds it reminded me kind of reminds me of the time when we had the those multiple polar vortexes 
back in 2011 or 2012, I don't remember, but we had several polar vortexes, if you remember those, and it was so cold, everything was making popping noises, and they called it frost quakes. It was making boom, like popping sounds and booming sounds, and your house would pop, and outside would pop, and it was very cold. That year was extremely difficult to deal with, with everything. Everything outside just wound up being in thick layers of ice. The water froze, and everything was just cold, and then there was snow on the ground. Back in 2009, we had multiple snows where it would be week after week we had, and snow would stay on the ground. But that year, during the polar vortexes, it just happened over and over and over and over, and it was like very multiple polar vortexes came through from the north we had never even heard of that term most people even in meteorology had not had to deal with that term until 2011 or 12 when that occurred and when that happened they said that we had one during july where we had mid 60s mid 50s and mid 60s in july for the highs some places made it to the 40s and 30s for the morning low in the middle of july so I'll never forget it. I did record that with my uh, my camcorder. I recorded that on the news because it was record. That was record uh, record occurrences. I used to uh, a lot of times I would keep track of things like that. And I would document these things that took place during my lifetime. I would always want to. I always wanted to document things for showing what all happened. The different disasters, the different extreme weather extremes and phenomenon things things like that taking place. It always fascinated me, and I would always document it, but we went through several polar vortexes that year, and even during the winter. During July, it was 50s and 60s for a high, and 30s and 40s, many places for the low. That happened once before, where we were somewhere, it was 39, I believe, in July, morning July. July morning, sorry. July 1st, I believe it was, years before 2011 or 12. So basically, into next weekend, we will be extremely bitterly biting cold through much of the United States. So apparently, also, UK, the UK temperatures have plummeted with negative 10 degrees Celsius over there with ice warnings. So that would be about 14 degrees Fahrenheit for England. So that's their temperatures over there and they're dealing with that right now. So there's severe ice warnings for much of the UK over in England and places of places over there for the morning rush hour. Commuters were were to be aware of these treacherous roads over there. So the weather turned cold overnight and everything is pretty much impassable over in England. So we're cold for quite some time. Basically, record lows and record cold taking place right now. So, this is not going to be a temporary event. This is here to stay for a good while for a large, a large swath of the United States. So, from, prob from the Midwest, I'd say, and central areas, here in the central areas and all the way to the East Coast, it's going to be very cold and likely very snowy. So everywhere is about 20 degrees below average right now. It's very, very cold, and it's a high possibility the colder weather is going to stick around for a while. It's not a temporary thing. That's what the National Weather Service is telling us. So basically, it's going to remain that way through about Friday in most areas of the United States. It's going to remain that way through next Friday. So this is not a temporary event. We are in a deep freeze, that is for sure. We are not a fan of that brutal, biting, cold, bitter, cold weather ourselves, but we're just going to have to try to manage and deal with this and send much love and warm thoughts to each other in these times that our vehicles start all right, and we don't have to jump start them or anything like that, and that we uh, 
and our vehicles start, the water runs okay, and for family members, loved ones, and pets, and ourselves, all of us, that everything, warm thoughts, and uh, stay, try to stay safe and warm, and uh, if you're on the road as well, to, my daddy will likely be on the road too, uh, he, he works, he's a truck driver, so he'll probably be on the road as well, so safe, uh, prayers for safety goes out for all of us, warmth and safety, anyway, much love, this is just the latest news on what's going on, weather-wise across the nation and really this world. So bitterly biting, brutal cold weather taking place. Much love, stay safe, and try to stay warm. Peace. This has been my update on the weather.